This is Made Man. As you can probably already guess, this game is goddamn atrocious. It was released in 2007, the same year Crisis came out. Made Man functions like a normal third-person shooter with a few extras. It was supposed to have an engaging Mafia family narrative. Okay, Joey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now move over, I'm driving. Narrative my ass! Whoever was in charge of the writing and cutscene should be embarrassed this was ever released. I have to wonder if they even watch their own cutscenes. None of the voice acting seems to line up with the scene. Thank you, boy. I couldn't have done it on my own. You want to find your truck? Go out that door and just keep on going. There's only one way through to the swamp from here. Glad I could help, old timer. Hey, enough of the old. Now you're gonna have to forgive me, cause I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do back there. Walt and his boys are no good thieves and liars. The cutscenes are also extremely poorly choreographed. If the fucking inbreds thought I was gonna go running under a hanging car while they were at the controls, then they were even more stupid than I thought. Okay, stop right there. Look at this shit. He's standing in the frame. What was the point of this scene? They can clearly see him standing there. Before my tour had started, he liked to talk, and since I'd been alone on the road for days, it made for a change. Besides, the waitress Doris wasn't entirely unpleasant on the eyes. They try to inject lines like these throughout the entire game. Was this even necessary? Are we supposed to be attracted to a poorly textured video game model? And the gameplay. Holy shit, the gameplay. The cover system is hilariously bad. You can stick to anything. There's no regenerating health, thankfully, but you never have to even use the cover. You can just go all out guns blazing and almost never die since the enemies do so little damage to you. The AI is an absolute joke. Most of the time they'll just stand there in the open taking pot shots at you and shrug off shots as if they're BB guns. This swamp level in particular was dreadful. You move so damn slowly in the water, and you have to fucking deal with alligators that blend in with the background. I'm not making this shit up. This game is a Mafia family-driven narrative with alligators. The melee in this game is fucking hilarious. There's no friendly fire, so you can just go around whacking people. They also added in this weird execution feature called retorts, where your character will basically say a one-liner and execute you, the enemy. Well, fuck you right back. <laughs> I never really figured out if these were scripted or random, but they seem to serve absolutely no right gameplay back. purpose. <laughs> Smashed him over the head with a chair. <laughs> Some of the level design is just so poorly thought out. Take this level for example. You come to this door and find out that it's locked. The game forces you to backtrack to a dead end to pick up a sniper rifle, which in turn spawns enemies and opens the door. Do you remember that hanging car scene? That's the only reason I could think of them wanting to do this. And no, the sniper isn't even remotely useful. It comes with seven shots that you use up almost instantly. Some of this other shit doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I'll be seeing you fellas. FBI, freeze! Why would the FBI shoot an unarmed man on sight? All in all, this game is just a perfect example of everything not to do when designing a game. Silverback Studios died immediately after this was released, and the developers went on to do some decent stuff. 
but I hope that the shit was burned into their consciousness forever. On the truck and I was in the clear, but as usual, things didn't go that easy.